Okay, wait, the screen just went blue. Hey guys, and welcome back to today's video. I have a super, super exciting one and I cannot wait to get into it. Today, I picked up something off Facebook Marketplace. It was actually a PlayStation 3 Plus games combo. So we got a bunch of games that you guys will see in a minute, but we also got a PlayStation 3, which he said last time he used, which was a while ago, the disc drive did not work. So sometimes you just need to do a little bit of cleaning on it. You need to clean the laser, but sometimes it can be really, really time consuming and take the whole thing apart to go ahead and give it a good clean. But I'm hoping that is not the case, but at least we got a bunch of games and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys them right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I apologize for this kind of, you know, upwards view, but I rearranged my whole setup as you guys can see, and I'm just working some stuff out. But we got the games here. I'm gonna go and test the console after, um, and I want that to be a complete surprise. But for now, let's go ahead and test the game. So this is gonna be the better stack of games. This is anything over $10. This is anything under. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and just kind of rip through these ones. I mean, they're still worth something. You know, a lot of these are complete in box. I think every single one actually is. I know this game, Call of Duty Ghost, I don't think it even came with a manual. Um, this is all it did, but the rest of them do have manuals or some sort of pamphlet. Uh, but Call of Duty Ghost worth about six bucks. Modern Warfare 3, we have a lot of Call of Duties, which is, you know, good because we can sell them fairly quickly. They're quite popular, but there's just so many of them out there that you really can't make a ton of money off of them. So it'll be nice to get, you know, a couple bucks for them. So Assassin's Creed 2 is worth about $8.06. So it's still decent. You know, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is also decent. I mean, five bucks. Um, this is all price charting value. So I probably will list it for a bit more than that. I typically don't sell games um, for this cheap. I kind of just list them for a little bit more expensive, but price charting is always wrong. Not always wrong, but can be wrong. It doesn't include shipping sometimes. Uh, sometimes it says it's complete in box when it's really loose. Stuff like that can sway the prices. Or if there wasn't a lot of data in the last couple you know, weeks or months or whatever, then the prices can obviously be off. But these are two really, really thick manuals. MotorStorm, uh, one of the other versions of MotorStorm actually actually sold for I think $25 I sold it for so I got really excited when I saw this listing but unfortunately it isn't the good motor storm um, it is still worth about $8.80 or whatever but uh, this one does have some stuff on it. I'm gonna have to take something to it to go ahead and clean that off NHL 09 you know another sports game that really isn't worth a whole lot Tiger Woods PGA 13 uh, complete in box pamphlet there NCAA football 09 complete in box and then last one Madden 15 he said this one is in the console I haven't checked it yet because I want to go and wait to turn everything on uh, for later uh, but that was all the loose or the games that are worth less than ten dollars so on to the more expensive ones starting off with need for speed coming in at around twelve dollars absolutely awesome some of these need for speed games are super super expensive this one being twelve dollars isn't you know on that higher end by any means but still a decent one for sure I haven't got one of these yet uh, we just have uh, uh, Battlefield Bad Company, which is around $10 mark. A lot of these are around the $10 mark. I think we only have about two really, really good games. Uh, Black Ops 2 coming in around $11 there for the PS3. And again, like this is all they included for the manual for Black Ops 3. So this is complete in box, but it's just a really small pamphlet there. Uh, Assassin's Creed number one. This one goes for about 10 bucks. So it is one of the more expensive uh, Assassin's Creed games for the PS3, which is absolutely awesome. All of these games are in super, super good condition. Uh, no cracks in the cases or anything like that. Um, like I said, majority of them are complete in box. This one's even got the map um, with the manual underneath there. Grand Theft Auto 4, absolutely awesome. Grand Theft Auto 4 is up there as well. This one's $50.90. This is actually our second most expensive game. We'll get into the most expensive one here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 we got on here. So a more expensive Call of Duty. It's still, you know, nothing amazing, but still coming in at just over $10. This is the best game. So Dragon, Dragon Origins, Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition absolutely awesome so apparently this is like a couple different games we have dragon age origins we have dragon age origins awakening in here not super familiar with it this is actually the very first one that i've ever seen but this is coming in at 24 dollars absolutely awesome and it is in great condition so this will be a good one to sell we also have guitar heroes 3 legends of rock coming in at just over or just under 14 dollars absolutely awesome massive massive manual there don't even know what this is actually oh it's some stickers he's used some of them uh, but because they got crinkled some of them aren't good but that is cool to keep in with the box and again another really thick manual there 
Guitar Hero. And last but not least, we have Call of Duty World at War. This one does look it's got like a little bit of water damage or something. Um, but this one is complete in box. And another good, you know, Call of Duty. $14.80. Uh, this is not bad at all. But now that we went through all of the games, I want to go ahead and test out this console. So I'm going to go ahead and push the power button. And three, two, one. Now... He did say the PlayStation should turn on and work, but he said the last time he used it, the discs were not being read. So that is what we're here to test. Is it gonna detect any disc in there? Cause he said Madden should be in there right now. Um, so we may have to just do a simple kind of clean, but I wanna go ahead and see if it's actually gonna detect the disc. I'm probably gonna have to plug in the controller to go ahead and get it charged up. Okay, so we got the controller plugged in here. We're gonna go over and see if it actually detects any disc in the console keeping my fingers crossed okay uh went too far games playstation store saved game no okay so i'm gonna go and push eject and see if anything comes out there's no game in there okay so that's good and bad bad because we don't have madden but good because we still might have a chance at this disc drive working let me go ahead and grab the game and i'll be right back so we got Grand Theft Auto, or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that we're going to go and throw in. Insert it there. The disc went in, no problem. So now I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Is a game going to be detected? I don't know if it's going to pop up. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. The screen just went blue. It'd still be good. Oh goodness. Okay, why'd it go blue? Oh my goodness. Okay. Like I said, this is really good and really bad. Bad because we're missing Madden, but great that the disc tray actually works. So we got so much money from the games alone. I believe it was just over $200 worth and the console works, which can sell anywhere from, you know, around $75. So we paid $80 for all of this. Oh my goodness, this is an absolute score. I cannot believe this is working. I'm super, super pumped. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got over $200 worth of games. We have a working PS3 and we only paid $80 for everything. I could not be more excited. I'm so looking forward to going and testing all these games, taking pictures, listing them on eBay, and hopefully getting some stuff sold. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching to all the way to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss the video coming out soon about my disc resurfacer that's hopefully coming out in the next couple days i'll catch you guys in the next one